everybody it's friday the 2nd of december it's actually like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> for earlier on friday um i can't sleep so i thought i'd do the reading now and then it would be there in the morning so um i hope you're all doing well usual yin yang the middle way or externally how the the yin and the yang is going to present outwardly or how that's going to affect you outwardly we've got um Ashley Cook's Blue Stone Tarot, Ashley Cook's Original Tarot, and Ashley Cook is bringing out a new Tarot deck as well. So look out for that. You can see it on her Etsy page. Um, I'm going to start with these ones, sorry. Um, this is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, Dreaming Way Tarot, Cat Black's Golden Tarot, the Muse Tarot, and Madame Clara Sees All Five Cent Tarot. Sounded a bit croaky, didn't I? Well, I was out last night. Not the Rampage. It's out. Okay, so this is the yin for the week ahead from the 2nd of December. So how is your heart? Oh, it's still in that race, still, still on that pony. Wounded, but taking the wisdom from that lesson, I should think. Got a choice to make. The heart, the heart's making a choice. Oh, um, that info was cutting through some bullshit. Yours or someone else's. The King of Cups and Strength in Reverse. One more. One more, please. Or oh, two. Oh, I never want to say one more. They're always got two more, too. Okay. Nine of Swords and the Sun, both in reverse. <laughs> the wheel of fortune at the bottom well so we're we're in a fated time um again <clears throat> this is part of a manifestation yours or someone else's yours probably not someone else's you can only manifest for yourself really anyway um so your heart well still moving forward on the race going to cut through some shit you've got you've got a lot of heart uh, and balance in this and you're being kind to yourself you're being kind to yourself um you're not allowing yourself to overthink and you're you're staying whole and positive and um enlightened i feel was it i don't know if it was this last week's mood reading or the moon reading where there was the swords there were so many swords so many like aces of swords clarity clarity everywhere there was lots of like cerebral waking up kind of things epiphanies um and i think this is you know it's it's carrying on now it's 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 pushed forward um and there's definitely some cutting through bullshit but it's done with with love um but i think that the person that you're looking after the most in this situation is you and that's perfect good good for you Okay, where's the head at? So the head is the head is a bit bruised actually. Let's put it in that nine of wands, perhaps. Or well, as an e is an ego dent, and you're having to be strong with that as well in your head. Hmm, what has happened? And there's that king of cups again. <clears throat> I'm just thinking that that's either going to be in your head, it, like as in it's going to be you, like in, in your head and your heart. You're in the same. It's the two, two of pentacles again. What the fuck is going on here? We've got strength. We've got the king of cups twice. We've got two of pentacles twice. Well, I mean, again, it's a good thing. What it's saying is that your your head and the heart are on the same page, and you've got that knight of wands again. That new creative direction. <clears throat> oh, is that devil again? Chariot, bloody hell. I'm going to just do one more because there's all those ones were there. Because we've got more come out of that one. Okay. 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 
we won't really know until we're on the external on the middle way but this either represents um hold on let me just let me just soak it all in a minute I feel like the heart is trusting in the in the universe in the cosmic energies um I think your heart is aware that it's things are changing the oh, this, this this slow pony that's here this long it's a long drawn out process this particular thing this part of your journey that you're on is something that's not going to happen overnight I think I think it's something that's not going to come into fruition fruition until sometime next year I mean, obviously not hard because we're at December so <laughs> um but um your heart is having to make a choice and I really well I'm going to clarify actually to before I'm before I say any more I don't this is a this is a quite un, it's not unusual but it's um I'm going to ask for more cards. Okay, I want to know why the two pentacles is here on the, the head and the heart, please. Thank you. So I got one, which is the second one that come out. That was the, what's this one? The hangman. So the hangman. So you don't have to make the choice in your heart. Well, I don't make the choice in your heart yet. Make the choice. In your head, though, to be this Queen of Wands. A uh, Queen of, sorry, Queen of Cups. Did she know? Sorry, I've got that wrong as well. Queen of Pentacles. <sighs> okay, that's not really helping much, mate. <laughs> Knight of Wands, the Tower. Okay. Uh, King of Cups, please. Curious, I'm curious. Uh, strength in reverse, please. Okay, so that's clear. You need to make decisions to have the outcome that you want. You need to make compassionate. You need to, you, yeah, you need to be strong and compassionate to yourself, for yourself. You need to be strong for yourself. You need to parent yourself really well, basically. Um, and I feel like, I feel like you are though, actually. But this King of Cups with that five of materials is a bit, something disappointed, disappointment around the King of Cups. Maybe some of you do have, um, I think there's Scorpio as well, King of Cups. Um... Okay, look, the placement of the the king the kings, right? And the and the, the strengths with the choice cards. I feel like this is a this is a choice about this is a choice I think I think this could be an external person that you're leaving behind or something you're leaving behind. I don't really. Mm. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ten of materials. Mm. Okay. I'm just trying to find. I'm just trying to find the path of this. By the way, it's taking a minute to to come to me. So this is the middle way or the external. How these. Emotions inside are going to either be perceived or or received. <laughs> Challenge again. Okay, so uh, well, you know what? We've been putting, we've been trying to put a situation down, right, for a while. 
um, and it hasn't been a clear bloody hell <laughs> sorry my car's jumping on the floor it hasn't been a clear um, there's been some unwillingness to walk away from it because either you have attachment or a responsibility to it or something it's a bit like For some of you, it could be a child leaving home, going to college or something. It's just a bit of a clash happening. Let's start at the bottom. <clears throat> Strength again. Okay. The overall energy externally in the middle way, the now is hope. There's an energy of hope that you have or as always you could actually be a star. Um and there's clarity, big clarity, and this has been coming for a little while, we know this already. You're cutting out stuff from your life that, that, that really just know that there's been a disappointment. There's been one person in particular that's been a disappointment to you. You're um, really cutting through to the truth of the situation now. Um, and you're stopping, you know, overthinking it back. But you are wounded. Or maybe there's more than one person wounded, you know. Usually when there's a war going on, people get hurt on both sides, don't they? So... You know, be mindful of that in your compassion for, but but the compassion I see for self here is good. It's a good thing because I think you're going to need it. Um, I feel that you're choosing in your in in your head. You're choosing to you're choosing to put yourself first financially i think i think with this king of pentacles here as well the overall energy in the head the head is kind of like the head knows what, what the head knows what it's going for and i feel like the heart is in agreement with it but i feel that there is a I feel like this is going to be quite a challenging week emotionally. That's why you've got so many streams cards come up here. It's to do with walking away from a situation, which has been something that we've been getting towards near the end of a cycle. We've been getting near the end of over the last few weeks for a longer, probably, but for definitely for the last few weeks, the last three readings, I'm pretty sure have all been working towards this being done. And I'm sure last week it was done. It was, you know, this is it now, the last the last scene. So this is almost like fallout, really. Um, where you're putting yourself first, though, and protecting yourself and your interests, but not actually taking action. I don't think, I think you're holding off on that because I think there's still a little bit of learning to do. There is, I would really watch the temptation to obsess or to um <clears throat> to chain yourself to things you don't really need to i'm gonna i want to read i want to know what the devil's oh bloody these cars are busy okay all right okay be be wary of people playing the victim <clears throat> or of you Is up there as well. Yeah, I would say be careful of people playing the victim, including you. Don't do it yourself either. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like this. There's this. I feel like somebody here has been wounded. Either you or another. Well, you know, like I say, if there's a war, the more everybody gets hurt, right? Do you know what I mean? But there's. 
there's a bit of a and there's heartache you know so i just pulled this for the chariot what is now so the new beginning is going to come quicker than you think it's pulling for the heart i didn't pull for that either so the further three of the cars are just popping straight out <laughs> the chariot again okay well I, and at the bottom is the eight of um pentacles working on yourself overall energy and externally so hopefully everybody's working on themselves if you have had some sort of a war um and you know but i think there's i think it's going to be a challenging week emotionally um i think you might have your buttons pressed um and i think perhaps i don't know what if this is this, this situation has knocked your confidence a little bit Let's look at why the Queen of Wands is here. Why well, she's in reverse even, to be honest. The soul. Hmm. If you are, actually, I feel, I think that... <sighs> hmm. I feel like actually that what you're actually doing is with that Queen of Wands there, it, rather than being having your confidence knocked, I think that you're quietly confident on the inside because you've been showing compassion to self. You do, your heart is open, and you're and and you're actually pretty balanced. This is really um, so Nine of Swords in reverse. We'll do the sun, it doesn't really matter, but we'll do it. Do the nine of swords in the reverse, please. And that's the knight of um knight of swords. So yeah, I think there's I think you have accepted that this, this things are moving forward now. Um and quite fast. Things are moving forward quite fast now, as we see here. Um so I think this is kind of the fallout, the fallout stage, really. Um, why is the eight of swords here on the external? Hierophant. Wisdom. Beliefs. Ace of swords. Yeah, right. I, I feel like this is a case of having to... Really connect to your higher self when pushed. I, I feel like I just I feel like you're just gonna get pushed a little bit this week. I don't really know why. It feels quite vague. <laughs> Sorry. Um. The head and the heart are on the same page, though, I think. But I do, I feel like this is, there's a, a lot of um, <clears throat> energy being dispersed in an external situation that's been disappointing and there's, and the, and there's been wounding. Um, and you're trying to keep your heart open, I feel, is what I'm seeing here. There's a, you're, you're having to use this situation, you're having to use a lot of your masculine energy so you're trying to balance it out with your heart um, energy, which is good, good to see. Um, and you, you know, your heart stays open because you've got the sun there at the end. It stays, it stays open. <clears throat> and this is this heartache is, you know, I don't feel that I don't feel that you're you're running away with it. I think it's, you know, I think it's, I think you'll be over it soon enough. Um, well, soon enough, it's been bloody ages, but <laughs> eventually the cycle is coming to an end and you're accepting it is what I'm seeing, is what I'm seeing here. And this just feels like the fallout page. There's definitely a walking away from something. There's definitely putting down the burdens or something. There is um, a need to listen to the wisdom of the lesson and not the pain of the lesson, as we see here in the nine of swords, the nine of wands. There's a lot of self-compassion having to happen here and compassion externally as well, because it's, you know. But there's also truth, lots of truth, which is a challenge, which is a challenge. People find it hard to speak the truth. People find it hard to speak the truth when they're in denial of it in the first place. You know what I mean? People that lie to themselves, lie, 
they don't lie to you on purpose. It's just in, indirectly, isn't it? Because they're not even aware that they're lying to themselves. Um, and I can see that that is something that may well blow up this week. Um, so if you've had a relationship, I don't know, and you split up with somebody and they're like, that's fine then, I don't care. <laughs> and then it sort of sinks in a week later, later that it's over. Like... And they're like, oh no, I, did, I didn't actually mean it. I'm calling your bluff. Like, do you know what I mean? It's that's like, <clears throat> I think that's sort of the energy that you'd kind of be dealing with, um, really. But you're off on this, you're focused on this new beginning. You've been focused on this new beginning for a while. This is old hat to you. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is. You know, you're well on your way to that happiness um, and comfort that you, you know, you've been working towards. Um, but, you know, it's just generally in a better position than what you've been in, basically, in whatever situation, in whatever sort of area you're looking to improve your life. I'm sorry, it seems a bit vague. I, no, I said that twice as well. I'm going to do some advice cards. Uh, so for the heart, what do we need to know to keep the heart open and to get through this week? With with love and kindness to self and others. So, okay, well, now is the time to put the plans in action. You've made that choice. Once you've, put, once you've made that choice, put the plan in action. That's what's going to bring you back to your sovereignty. Which is kind of a similar message to last week as well. So, you know, this is... So, for the head... Nine of cups... That's a really like you know it's a positive card to nine of cups. You know that is about being in, sitting you know sitting comfortable and knowing where you're at and you know knowing who you are and your emotions and stuff like that. Same as like the nine of pentacles, but it's inwards. And I think I think that's a caution to um, be humble. Actually, be humble and grateful. A good a good thing to remember. And one more for the head, or not? One more for the head. I'm just living with one, two of pentacles again, and that's. I think this is something else that's really important to remember that is everything is a choice. Everything is a choice, and you can choose. And it's interesting that that card I've been placing here is on top of that queen of materials and the choice again, and the choice is up here as well, somewhere up there. So, you know, choose wisely because the, you know, the tower is there. What's that with the, you know, the Knight of Wands? Yeah, this passionate rushing in energy that's going to cause a tower moment. It could be that somebody uh, loses their, you know, blows their top or something. Um, you might have an argument with somebody. I don't know. So when it feels a bit like I'm afraid. Okay, it's this advice for externally. How we can we hold ourselves externally? <clears throat> well, they're two nice cards. So judgment. So you know, <laughs> which is interesting with the wheel, wheel of fortune. There, you know that you know karma has a way of working around. Three of cups at the bottom. <clears throat> Again, for some of you. This situation might involve three people, some or friend. It could involve friends, um, but it could also be a time to really, you know, reach out to your friends. And um, you know, if you're having a hard, a hard week, reach out to your mates and have some joy so that you keep that open heart open. You know, because because it, it the truth wrap all out and it all comes out in the end. And you know, karma does what it does, mate. And and there's and look to the new beginning again. You know what I mean? This is a new beginning. It's happening. It's it's happening. The beginning is happening. Births and deaths are never easy. You know the passage in and the passage out. Um, and it's the same with cycles of um, energies. So, in order to keep your heart open, you need to put the plans that you've been making into action now. To take actual action. That will help put you back in your own sovereignty. It will help you to stay open in your heart. Um, in your head space, you to 
you know, stay stay humble, stay grounded, stay grateful. Um, recognize that everything is a choice. Put yourself first, but be kind and recognize that everybody is scarred. Um, and the heartache will go soon enough. I mean, you're going to learn important lessons in the next next week as well. These epiphanies are going to keep coming. There's a lot. This, you know, nobody likes to hear the truth when it's about them. They, they, you know, and sometimes it can be hard to take on board things. So, you know, you have to process. Everybody else has to process, and you have to honor that time to process as well. But remember, everything's a choice. Is the thing that keeps coming up for me here so um you know you can choose to be a victim or you can choose to be a survivor like you know it's it's totally however you read it like you know um however you you decide to, you know the energy that you want to be in but it's looking it, it's it's looking like you're going to come through it and you'll be fine but it's this this week might just be a little bit testing all right, well, that's what I have for you. Um, oh, I should say is somebody told me earlier that Mars is in retrograde. Is it Mars? Something's in it. always something in Mexico, isn't there? But it's, it's about it's about truths. It's about enlightenment and truth. So um, yeah, that could be that could be the end of what's happening here. Anyway, I hope this helped in some way. Have a good week. Uh, see you soon.